Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Revelation, the root word in that is to reveal. So God says he's getting ready to reveal something. All right, Todd, people is getting ready to reveal something. So in order to reveal something means what? It's been covered up before, right? If I say, when you reveal something, it means you're uncovering it, right? You're showing what's hidden, right? So he's getting ready to reveal Jesus Christ. Because we've been taught this image right here, that this was Jesus Christ, right? Well, John said he's getting ready to reveal something, how Christ really looked to you, Isaiah Reed. Read, read, read. Naomi chapter 28 and chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So the Lord God chose the Israelites as we read also in the Quran. Because a lot of y'all love Islam. A lot of our people gravitate towards Islam. And I understand why. We're looking for order. We're looking for structure. We're looking for guidance. But the command points us right back to who the children of Israel is. God said in the Bible that we are a holy people. And when you read the Quran, it says the same thing that we told them. Hey, my brother. My brother. Hey, y'all believe we the chosen people? Y'all believe we the chosen people of God? Y'all believe we the chosen people of God? Read. In the Quran. Chapter 56, verse 20, 122. Uh -huh. O children of Israel, call to mind favor which I bestowed on you, and that I made you excel the nation. He made us what? To excel the nation. God made us to excel the nation. To excel something. What, to, what does it mean to excel something? Brother, what does it mean? What does it mean to excel something? It means that you're going to go past that. We are here to excel. God made us to excel the nation, to go further than the nation. Right? But where are we right now? We are, we under the nation. God said we under the nation for breaking his commandments. Read. In the Quran, um, chapter 90, uh, 975, verse 16. We, and suddenly we gave the children of Israel the book and judgment and prophethood and provided them with good things and made them excel the nations. God made us to excel the nations. This is even written in the Quran. This is even written in the, in, the, in the Quran that God made the Israelites to excel the nations. The Israelites are chosen. All right, go back to the Bible. Read. Uh, give me Amos chapter uh, 3. Two, 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 this is the book of Amos chapter 2 verse 11. Uh -huh. And I raise up your sons for prophets. What did God say in the Bible? And I raise up your sons for prophets. God said he was going to raise us up for prophets. Y'all believe that? Well, over. Y'all believe that? God said he was going to raise up us for prophets. And that's what you're seeing right now. You're seeing the prophets of God. You're seeing the Israelites. You're seeing the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob out here showing his people who we are according to the Bible. And then we need to come back to the commandments of God. Read it again. And I raise up your sons for prophets. God said he was going to raise us up for prophets. The sons of God, the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the sons of Judah, Issachar, the sons of uh, Naphtali and Manasseh. He's going to raise us up for prophets. Read. And your young men for Nazarites. And our young men for Nazarites. Read. Consecrated to God. Read. It is not even thus, O you children of Israel. O you who? Oh, you children of Israel! My brother, let me, let me ask you a question about that flyer you're reading. You understand that flyer, bro? You understand what you're reading? You understand what you're reading? Let me see something real quick. What, you, what page you on right now? You reading that right now? I see you pulled out the description of Christ. God said that he was going to raise up the children of Israel for prophets. What does a prophet do? Okay, you're not too familiar with a prophet at all, but it's an honest answer, my bro. A prophet gathers the children of God back and brings us back to the Father. 
All right? A prophet comes out here and shows prophecies uh, uh, past and, and uh, present or future, True, yep. future and past of our people. He can show you out of the Bible where you're going, who you are, where you come from. That's what a prophet does. All right? So God said he rose up our forefathers, to, uh, our forefathers' children to become prophets. And that's what you see happening right now on 47th in Indiana. The prophets of God are coming and we're showing our people the, the past, the present, and the future. And what's going to happen? My sister, do you believe there's prophets on the earth today? Do you believe that the prophets of God are on the earth today? Who believe in prophets out here? Who believe that prophets exist right here today in 2020? Hey, my bro, come here, I'm not done. So look at that fly right there. The description of Christ, right? I asked you something. I asked you, did you understand what you was reading, right? So it's my job as a prophet to give you the understanding of that. All right? So I want you to go to Revelations 1 and 14. I'm going to give you the understanding of that paper before you leave here, okay? What's the name, brother? Isaiah. Is it Isaiah? Is it Isaiah? All right. Another Isaiah. So we're going to read that scripture that's on that. And I want you to look at that paper, this one here. I want you to look at this one as we read this, okay? Revelations 1 and 1. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So it says the revelation of Jesus Christ. Come here, my brother. You know how Jesus Christ looked? Okay, let me show you. Let me show you how he looked. Come here. When you want to know how Christ looked, you believe in Christ? All right, let me show you how he looked. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to show unto his servant things which must which must shortly come to pass. And he said and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So the uh, re word revelation, the root word in that is to reveal. So God says he's getting ready to reveal something. All right, to our people, he's getting ready to reveal something. So in order to reveal something means what? It's been covered up before, right? If I say, when you reveal something, it means you're uncovering it, right? You're showing what's hidden, right? So he's getting ready to reveal Jesus Christ, because we've been taught this image right here, that this was Jesus Christ, right? Well, John said he's getting ready to reveal something, how Christ really looked to you, Isaiah, read. Verse 14, huh? his head and his hairs were white like wool. God said that, that, so now, give me, uh, go, go up to uh, verse, uh, verse 10, I turn to see, read. V verse 10, uh -huh. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So John said he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Today is the Lord's day, Isaiah, the Sabbath day. Read. And I heard behind me a great voice as the trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega. So John said he heard a voice behind him, loud voice, say, saying that I'm Alpha and Omega. Read. What thou seest, write in the book. And said. Uh, uh, read it up again, start at the top. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the first and the last. Uh -huh. What thou seest, write in the book. So he told John, what you about to see, write it in the book. Remember, we uncovering something. We unveiling something that was hidden. So he said, what you see, write this in the book. Because this thing is going to be hidden in the future. And we need to reveal it to Isaiah when he's on 47th in Indiana on Saturday. Read. And send it unto the seven churches. Uh -huh. Which are in Asia, uh -huh. and to Ephesus, uh -huh. and unto Smyrna, uh -huh. and unto Pergamos, uh -huh. and unto Tigeria, uh -huh. and unto Sardis, uh -huh. and unto Philadelphia, uh -huh. and unto Laodicea. Uh -huh. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So, so John said, I turned around to see the voice, because if somebody talking to you from behind you, you're going to turn around, right? You're going to turn around and see who... Let me see who's talking to me. Let me face the person that's talking to me. He so John turn, read. And I turned, and I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So he saw seven golden candlesticks, a menorah. That's this right here, menorah. He said he saw that, and he said in the middle of it, that's right. one was like it to the Son of Man. So he said he saw seven golden candlesticks, and in the middle, one was like unto the Son of Man. Read. The Son of Man is Christ. Read. Clothed with, clothed with, with a garment down to the foot. Christ had a garment on that went down to his foot. Read. And girded about the path with a golden girdle. And he had a gold belt on. So he had a garment and he had a gold belt. This is Jesus Christ. Read. His head and his head were 
Red, white, black, wool. Hold on, my bro, old school, check it out. We're gonna show you the revelation of Christ. So he said his head, his head and his hairs, meaning the hair on his head, and the hairs of his face, what up, bro? or what? We're Good. white, black, wool. We're white in color and woolly in texture. Who has woolly hair on the planet, Isaiah? We do, right? Now he said it was white and woolly. Because when we get older of age, right, our hair turns gray and eventually they turn white, right? Gray. As white as snow. As what? As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh -huh. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. So at Christ's feet, let's, let's see what Christ's feet look like. So we see that his head and his hairs were white in color and woolly in texture. Hey, my brother, you know how Christ looks? He over here going over the description of Jesus Christ. You know how he looks? We're going over it right now, bro, from day to day. We're going over the color of Christ right now out of the Bible. Wouldn't we, shouldn't we be able to find how Jesus Christ looked in the Bible, right? Because the Bible is written all about Jesus Christ, right? What's your name, brother? Marlo. Marlo, the Bible is written all about Jesus Christ. You agree? You agree too, my sister? The Bible is written about Jesus Christ, right? All right, so the Bible should have a description or depiction of how Jesus Christ looked like. Because we've been taught this guy right here. Right? This is what you see, Passion of Christ. Right? Uh, story of Moses, the Ten Commandments, all of these, uh, Charles Heston. When you see these movies, you see this image right here, right? But we're going to see what the how the Bible says that he looks. And so far, we were showing Isaiah, and we got him that his head and his hairs were white in color and woolly in texture. Right? Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto what? And to five brides. So this is John the Revelator. He turned around. He saw Christ. He looked at him. He's like, okay, this is how he looked. Because the, 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 the word revelation, the root word of that means to reveal. Right? So John is revealing because he knew in, in these last days, Marlo and Isaiah was going to be taught a lot. They was going to be taught that Christ looked like this. So John said, put this in the Bible so that in these last days, when we go back, when the prophets come out and teach the people, when they wake it up, they, they, have, they know how... Their Savior, look. That's they right. know that they are the children of God. Read. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, Isaiah? It's like a light brown, right? Like unto fine brass. Read, so we'll get more descriptive than that. Read. As if they burned in the furnace. Christ was so dark, it looked like what? As if they burned in the furnace. Christ was so dark, he, his skin looked like fine brass or polished brass that was burned in the furnace. He was a very dark skinned man. Read. And his voice, uh -huh. as the sound of many water. Christ spoke loud, because as men, we supposed to speak loud. You understand, when you see a lion, is he purring like a kitten? Or is he, he, you know what I mean? He's roaring, So they say roaring like a lion. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And fire!